Solve the simultaneous set of linear differential equations dx by dt plus dy by dt minus 2y equals 2 times cos t minus 7 times sin t. The second differential equation is dx by dt minus dy by dt plus 2x equals 4 times cos t minus 3 times sin t. In both the given differential equations, we have x and y are the dependent variables and t is the single independent variable. If we introduce the operator capital D equals d by dt, then this equation can be written as this equation and this equation can be rewritten as this equation. Let us call the new equations as equation 1 and 2 respectively. In order to solve the simultaneous set of linear differential equations, we will have to eliminate any one of the dependent variables. If we wish to eliminate y, then we have to operate the operator capital D throughout equation 1 plus we will operate the operator capital D minus 2 throughout equation 2. So that we have d into d minus 2 acting on y gets cancelled with d minus 2 into negative d acting on y. And we are left out with d square x plus d minus 2 into d plus 2 acting on x in the LHS. And in the RHS we obtain these terms. This term is obtained when d is operated on this RHS of equation 1. And we obtain these two terms when we operate d minus 2 to the RHS of equation 2. Since we can rewrite the operator d minus 2 into d plus 2 as d square minus 4 because a minus b into a plus b equals a square minus b square, we have this LHS can also be written as d square x plus d square x minus 4 times x which can be written as 2 times d square x minus 2x which becomes 2 times d square minus 2 operated on x. In the RHS, we get minus 18 times cos t. When you divide both sides of this equation using 2, you get the differential equation d square minus 2 operator on x equals minus 9 times cos t. Notice that this differential equation involves single dependent variable which is x. In order to solve this differential equation, we will have auxiliary equation equals m square minus 2 equated to 0. Thus, m equals plus or minus root 2 is obtained as the root of auxiliary equation. Therefore, complementary function is obtained as constant times e raised to root 2 t plus another constant times e raised to negative root 2 t. In order to find out particular integral, we have to operate 1 by f of t on the RHS which is negative 9 times cos t. Negative 9 being a constant is taken outside the operation of 1 by f of t and we have 1 by d square minus 2 acts on cos t. Since we have cos t is a trigonometric function and coefficient of independent variable which is t equals 1, we will have to replace every d square using negative of 1 square that is d square gets replaced by negative 1. Therefore, the denominator becomes negative 3. We have negative 9 upon negative 3 becomes positive 3 obtained in the numerator. Therefore, particular integral is obtained as 3 times cos t. Thus, we have General solution corresponding to the dependent variable x will be sum of complementary function as well as particular integral. Thus we arrive at equation 4. If we call this differential equation as equation 3, then we have this expression will be the solution. Now we will find out why. Since by equation 2 we have d plus 2 acting on x equals dy plus 4 times cos t minus 3 times sin t. From this equation it follows that dy equals d plus 2 acting on x minus 4 times cos t plus 3 times sin t. In place of x we can give this expression which follows from equation 4. Which means that the operator capital D plus 2 will act on the RHS of equation 4. The output of which will be combined with negative 4 cos t plus 3 times sin t which will give us derivative of y. When you obtain dy equals this expression, in order to find out y, we will integrate both sides. That is, when the RHS of this expression is integrated with respect to independent variable t, we will get y. We have y equals integral 2 plus root 2 c1 times e raised to root 2t plus 2 minus root 2 into c2 times e raised to negative root 2t plus 2 times cos t. When we carry out the integration with respect to independent variable t, we obtain this RHS on simplification where C3 is the constant of integration. This equation 5 
will be the desired solution corresponding to dependent variable y. Thus we have the desired solutions are given by equations 4 and 5.